I'm Efren Barraza, Service Manager here at Laboratory Instrument Specialists, where we service and sell laboratory instruments such as CEMs, Smart System 5, Smart Track 2, and many more. You can request our services and view our product inventory at our website, lissei.com. Links will be down in the description. This is the CEM Smart System 5, introduced at the turn of the century in 2000, was designed to rapidly test moisture or solid content of a variety of products. From dairy, meat, processed foods, to wastewater, personal care products, pharmaceuticals, paint, and many, many more. The instrument weighs 55 pounds and measures 26 by 25 by 18 inches. There's a black and white backlit display with a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels and physical number pad as well as the most useful buttons such as start or stop and tear. The Smart 5 is heated by a 300 watt microwave but will range between 150 to 300 watts and being used at 100% power. This is due to the infrared temperature controller that would automatically adjust the power while a test is running if it detects the sample is getting too hot. There's also a flame detector within the infrared controller that will shut off the microwave power when detected. The max capacity of the balance is 50 grams and has a readability of one tenth of a milligram. Test result accuracy is within one one hundredth of a percentage and the instrument can read any range of moisture or solid content. You can save up to 100 different drying methods and view 300 recent test results. The user interface is also multilingual and can accommodate English, German, Spanish, and French. Now onto the balance calibration. You will need a 10 gram weight. While on the main menu, press 4 to enter the setup menu. Press 7 to enter the calibration screen. Open the cover. Make sure there's nothing on the balance. Press tear to cancel out the weight of the balance. Now you can place the 10 gram weight. Once the calibration is complete, you can remove the weight and press any key or exit to return to the setup menu. Before doing our first test, we'll create a new generic drawing method. This will ensure that every time we test a specific sample, our testing methodology will be constant and our results will be accurate. To create a new method, while on the main menu, press 2 to edit or create method. Press 1 for new method. Press the triangles that correspond to the arrows to type out the method name and hit enter to select the letter. When done, press ready. Press 1 to select the calculation mode. We'll be choosing moisture or solids. Press 2 to choose what time parameter you want. We'll be choosing constant weight. Hit ready when done. We'll be using a standard test. Hit 1. On this manual, you'll have to first hit the number corresponding to the setting you want to change. We'll hit 1 and then type 100 to indicate 100% power. Hit enter when done. For delta weight, we want 0.2 milligram. So hit 2 to select this option, then 2 again. Enter. For delta time, we want 10 seconds. Max time will leave at 10 minutes. Bias will remain at 0% and is only used when you are referencing results from a different testing method. For example, if an oven gives you a result of 51% moisture content and the Smart 5 is giving you 50% moisture content, the bias should be 1% since the oven test results are 1% more than the Smart 5 results. You can also set the bias to be negative if needed. Max temperature will be 110 degrees Celsius. Select next page. Result range is what will be displayed. You want to display the moisture content percentage. Minimum results should always be set to zero. Max results should be 100%. Minimum weight range will be two. Max weight range will be three. Weight compensation will be left on as it helps samples with the buoyancy effects such as milk, margarine, condiments, etc. that have higher temperatures when the final weight is calculated compared to the start of the test. Once done with the setting parameters, hit ready and the new method will be saved and testing can begin. For this test, we'll need our sample, 4x4 square LIS glass fiber sample pads and a pipette to distribute the sample onto the sample pad. Place two LIS glass fiber sample pads onto the scale. Close the cover. Hit tear to zero out the weight of the pads. Open the cover back up. 
We'll now apply between 2 to 3 grams of our sample using the pipette and applying in a swirling motion to maximize the surface area of the sample on the pads, therefore leading to faster drying times and more accurate results since more moisture will be dried. Once the weight of the sample is between 2 and 3 grams, take the bottom sample pad and place it on top of the other pad and sandwich them together to ensure the test sample gets absorbed into both sample pads. Close the lid, hit start. When the test is done, your results will be printed. Hit ready to continue testing or hit exit to return to the main menu. The next test will be done on eggs. From the main menu, press 3 for load method. We already created our egg method, so we'll select egg. For this specific test, we need to blend the egg in a blender to ensure the product is completely mixed and will therefore give us the most accurate testing result every time. The steps to testing are the exact same as before. The final test we'll be doing is on cheese. Depending on the type of cheese being tested, there's different ways to test and get accurate results. A basic slice of cheese is the simplest. If it's soft, you could just cut a piece and sandwich between the pads. If it's a hard cheese like Swiss, you might need to grind it up so that the moisture can evaporate quicker and properly. For string cheese, you'll need to grind it up. Same with the block of cheese, although you shouldn't grind up the entire block. Just cut a small portion out and then grind. For Parmesan cheese, it's already grinded up, so just apply it to the pad and you're set. And that's about it. If you're seeing Smart System 5 or any similar microwave moisture balance needs servicing, make sure to go to our website, lissci.com, and complete the service request form. If you would like to contact us about our other products, email us at info at lissci.com. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe for future content on the other lab equipment we have here at LIS. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.